All right, guys, welcome back. This is progress vid number 24. Let's go. For those who have missed my last progress vid, I decided to go back to boss giants to train my magic level some more. The goal was to get to 70 magic for this progress vid. I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys right now that I did get 70 magic. Training your magic though using the fire strike spell can be profitable but I just couldn't seem to make the profit that I wanted. I was hoping the mossy key drops that I got from moss giants would help make me some profit but it only got me enough GP to buy my runes back. Anyways I got a pretty nice drop from Bryal Fida. She gave me a good 200 chaos runes which I later sold to the magic shop in Varak for more GP. One of these days though I'm just going to start collecting chaos runes until I get like 10k of them and use them towards more magic XP. Since I'm grinding my magic right now, I might as well start collecting chaos runes and maybe even the death runes too. But because I sold every death rune and chaos rune that I got, I'll have to use this idea for the next progress vid or another progress vid. I completed every clue scroll from Bryal Fida. I tend to do this as an extra task when it comes to killing the bosses in F2P. I find that it just adds more fun to it as well. I ended up completing 4 clue scrolls in total, so in other words, I do get 4 monster key drops while at Moss Giants. Oh, and did I mention that I also got a rare item again in one of my beginner clue scroll rewards? I was really happy with this reward. As much as I would like to have the mole slippers instead, I think the frog slippers will just do. I think I'm going to take this time though to talk a little bit about why I didn't upload last weekend like I was hoping for. Well, in my mind, I thought 7 magic would only take a day, but it actually took me 3 days. And because I was also aiming for a hit points level of 80 and a defense level of 79 for this progress vid, that took some time too. When it comes to logging into my account, the most I will play is 4 hours a day, but that's if I'm not busy. Sometimes life just gets in the way and I'm only able to play for like an hour or two. I believe this is the last beginner clue scroll reward that I finished for the progress vid. Oh, and for those who may be wondering why a high elk steal items, I do this because every little GP counts. For example, when I'm at lesser demons or even ice giants, I will pick up all the coins that I get from drops. This does add up, I notice. I believe I picked up over 20k in GP while at lesser demons. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but I am a F2P UIM, and like I said, every GP counts, especially if you're going to be training your magic, like I am in this progress video. I can't believe I'm saying this though, but you guys, we just got 80 HP in game. Let's go. This was such an awesome accomplishment for me, as I never thought I would get to 80 HP. I'm pretty much on the home stretch now for 99 hit points. I don't think I will get 99 hit points though before the 1000 hour mark. But if I had to set myself a goal for my hit points level before the 1000 hour mark, it would be to get to 90 plus at least. And here is 57 prayer. I noticed myself pronouncing pray prayer uh, kind of funny. I'll tend to say prayer, prayer but I think it's pronounced uh, prayer, prayer, I don't know. And finally a room med helm drop at Lesser Demons. I was actually wondering when I was going to get this. I got it on my 191 uh, kill count or kill. If you made it this far into this progress vid, 
You guys are awesome and because you decided to stay, now you get to see me level up my magic to 70. With 70 magic in game now, and if I was a P2P player, I would also meet the requirements now to equip full arums. Which I would think would be pretty cool to have, but I must remain F2P. We made it this far into this journey, I can't ruin the progress just yet. No, I'm just kidding. I actually wouldn't make this account into a P2P account ever, but if I was to go back to P2P, it would just be on my main UIM account, Wally Ballin. I want to quickly say thank you to the comments who gave me this awesome tip. I'll put it on screen right now. If it weren't for you, I would still be killing cows and lumbers like a noob. The goal here, however, is just to get a couple crafting levels. I'm thinking 55 to be honest. Again, I'm not too much in a rush to get 70 crafting. I'm alright using the Amulet of Accuracy for now as my main amulet when it comes to training my melee stats and range level. I got my beekeeper's gloves back. Because I'm using leather gloves right now, I thought to myself, hmm, I'll just use these instead. And here is 79 defense, just one more level from 80 defense. Oh, and 92 combat. Getting my crafting level to 55 felt pretty good. I mean, I can now cut myself dragon stones and also make myself a slayer helmet if I was a P2P player, that is, like I keep saying. Remember when I said I had to dig into the coffer for some more funds? I did this because I didn't have enough for the rune pickaxe. I do plan on going back to smithing and mining for my next progress video and get rid of the uncut rubies, or sorry, the cut rubies in my inventory. This is why I went into the coffer. But because this progress video is coming to an end, I do want to say thank you to everyone who's been waiting patiently for another progress vid from me and this channel. I am going to hit the 500 hour mark soon, I'm just 10 hours away from it now. And I like that it's going to happen in my 25th progress vid. 500 hours means the halfway point to 1000 hours, but you guys knew that already. I do enjoy this series just as much as you guys do. It's what built my channel up again, and it's all thanks to you guys who have clicked onto my videos. I know for my last progress vid, I have to make it at least 30 minutes long. I just have to go out with a bang. Anyway, you guys all take care. And like always, I will see you all in the next one.